Hello my lovelies! Today on Torn Tries, turning chopsticks into hair sticks. Um, you will need a few things to do this project. The first thing you need are some chopsticks. As you see, these are chopsticks from, you know, the Japanese steakhouse. Um, you're also going to need some sandpaper of a fine grit. This is a thousand uh, grits. Um, you're going to need some tape because we're going to tape off the ends to paint. You're going to need a uh, primer or white paint. I'm just going to use some Krylon. Um, you need whatever colored paint you would like. I'm going to use nail polish so that I can get some pretty colors going on and it works great. Um, you're going to need some clear acrylic to uh, seal in the paint and then for the rest of the wood that I am leaving bare um, I'm going to use some feed and wax. Uh, you can use pretty much any oil, but I'm just going to go ahead and use orange oil so it'll make it pretty. So, the first thing you want to do is open up your chopsticks. This is a nice fresh pair uh, because, you know, I have. And yes, they are attached together. Um, let me throw so, that away. Just like, you know, you normally use chopsticks. Just going to pop them apart, which they should pop. There we go. Okay, now we need sandpaper because we're gonna put these in our hair. Um, we want these to be as smooth as possible. If you would like to change what the end of this looks like, um, you can try and sand off the corners. Uh, I have a Dremel. I thought about it, but I think I'm just gonna leave them as is um, because I haven't messed with the Dremel much yet. And basically all you wanna do is sand it fine. Um, I usually just do this number. So let me get everything sanded nice and silky and then I shall return. Right. We're sanded. Why? Why did we sand these? Well one, it makes the paint stick better. But the most important reason is that we don't want any stragglers of wood to snag in our hair as we slide this in and out of it to make buns and things. Um, so you just want them nice and smooth. So you sand it and then there's nothing there that will catch on your hair or cause any kind of damage. Yay. All right, now we're gonna paint. So the first thing we need to do is take our tape and uh, tape off. Uh, the only part we're going to paint is this part that sticks out of the top. Um, so just I'm just using regular old 3M painter's tape. Is it even 3M? I don't know. Duck brand, whatever. Painter's tape. And you just want to mark off as much as you are going to paint. And I'm going to paint down this far roundabouts. Um, the only part you really need to worry about is the top. You want it to be relatively straight. Although, you know, it's not that that particularly matters either. So, there we go. And uh, now I'm going to do the other one, the same. And then I'm going to take them outside and spray paint them with white spray paint. Just because it will make the colors pop a little better. Alrighty, I'll Alrighty be. Um, the white part is dry. I did get a cup just to... So it would dry without, you know, sticking anything. So now it's time for paint. Um, what you want to paint is entirely up to you. I'm going to keep mine fairly simple and just kind of do some stripes. Um, let's start with the lighter one first. Um, just because, yeah, um, I'm using nail polish, so it is the way of things. Keep in mind simple. So, uh, yeah, so just, you know, paint whatever it is you want to paint. And then um, let it dry. Um, no, I'm not doing straight stripes, just, you know, kind of stripey sort of whatever. So I'm going to paint and then let that dry, and then I'll be back for the next step. Back in a sec. Alrighty, lovelies, we are painted. I did this one sort of a, like I said, not super even. It's just freehand, but you know, I wasn't, if I was going for super even, I'd have taped it. Um, I did this one kind of vertical stripey and this one horizontal stripey, so they are a pair, but they don't look exactly the same. I just really have a tendency to like that kind of stuff. Like those socks, you know, that are all the same colors, but one's all like striped and the other one's polka dot or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I like that stuff. 
matched but mismatched. So what I'm going to do now before I take off the tape is I'm going to coat the painted part of this with some uh, clear acrylic. Um, you can also, I'm using the clear acrylic because it dries the minutes, but uh, you can also use like a spray shellac or whatever you want to seal in your paint. I just want to make sure that I have a couple of coats of this so that this does not come off at a later date. All right, so I'm going to go outside and do that because ventilation and then I shall return. So we hit a snag. It turns out the clear acrylic, um, now granted I've only ever used this on straight paint, but it did weird things to my glitter and made it turn into just like dots instead of sparkles. So this is out if you're going to use glitter. Uh, regular paint is fine. Um, like the regular nail polish, it was fine. Just the glitter was weird. So I ended up switching to a clear wood finish gloss of lacquer from uh, Deft. Um, but yeah, I used straight lacquer instead. I don't know if it's because nail polish is enamel paint that the acrylic just reacted funky with it. There are a couple spots. Um, I had to re apply the glitter because it took all the sparkle out of my glitter and we can't be having that. So um, yeah, so I have a coat of lacquer on it now instead. So hopefully that will do good things and we're gonna let that dry. And then uh, the next step is we pull the tape off and feed and wax, but we have to let it dry first. So see you Alrighty. in a sec. We're dry. Mostly, Def takes a little longer. It usually stays sticky for a little while. How do I know? My husband uh, refinishes guitars. So, uh, but it's, you know, you're not going to leave fingerprints, which is good enough. Um, I'm just going to peel off my tape. There we go. So now we have a fairly decent looking line right there. Um, I'll probably, uh, once it's totally dry, I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper just to knock down the demarcation. Um, but the next step is that I'm going to use the feed and wax on the wood. Uh, why? Um, it protects the wood. It keeps the wood from getting uh, dried out, messed up. If you have any other wooden hair sticks that do not have, you know, like a finish on them, I do highly recommend you oil them. And yes, you can use like coconut oil or um, jojoba or any sort of oil really works. Uh, I just like the feed and wax because it has a lovely orange smell. And I don't know, that's what my husband uses on his guitars. And I just kind of, you know, go with whatever he says. So uh, yeah, but that's it, you guys. It's your uh, finished stick. Um, all oiled up. I usually just let the oil dry a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, That's you're it, done. guys. We have turned a standard pair of chopsticks into a nice pair of hair sticks. Uh, basically, you can leave them completely naked if you want, as long as you sand them first with some fine grit sandpaper, but we fancied them up a little bit. Um, I do recommend, even if you leave them naked, that you do add some sort of oil to them to treat your wood just so that they will not dry out and get gross on you. But there we go. Yay! Hair sticks from Chopsticks. Uh, no excuse to not have a pair of hair sticks. Chopsticks are free with your meal. All right, uh, that's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow with hair. Um, until then, have a great day. Bye.